and I'm Kevin, Senior Support Engineer here at IndieSoft, and once again it's Tip Tuesday. Uh, today I'm going to be going over our IS Import Utility. Uh, this utility allows you to import bulk data from the Excel file. Uh, so let's get started. <clears throat> You'll see here I have the uh, Excel file open. I have some sample data. Uh, you can manipulate this, move data around, add data, whatever. Uh, you'll notice I have company, ID, serial, description, type, subtype, and schedule information here. Uh, so once you have the Excel file situated, you will do a file and save as. And you will want to save this as a CSV file. something else and save. I already have a file so it's going to replace it. All right, so here's my CSV file there. I will close that because you can't import uh, an open CSV file. Let me go back and open up my Excel file. import utility. Uh, go to the client install folder. Find the IS import utility and launch that. Okay, it does require an administrator, so I'll log in as the administrator. Here's our IS import utility. Uh, you can select what, what data you want to import. In this case, we're going to import equipment information. So we'll select that, click next. Here's the file. Let me go out and get the file. And that's going to be the CSV file. Right there. Click open. And it's comedy limited. Here are some options. Uh, typically leave these first two as they are. Uh, if you know the equipment already exists for any reason, you can suppress this duplicate item error messages. Uh, if your first line of import con contains header fields, you may want to click that option to skip them. And that should be it. Next, here are the fields that you want to bring over. Uh, I've already selected my fields. So right here, uh, this indicates the first column of, this, of the file. Uh, I want to skip that because they put, we want to, I want to import that data to a different company name than what they've supplied us in this file. So I'm going to skip that column. I have your ID. I've selected that. Uh, the serial description on down. I have your schedule information here. I've got the last cow, due date, frequency, or interval. So I've had those listed here. Uh, I have the skip field, which I don't need to skip those. Let's remove that. Uh, I, have to, I have to provide a schedule type, like calibration, etc. And I need to provide a company. Since I've skipped this company, I'm going to default it to a new company. So the first thing I'll do is schedule type 1, select that. Click on set the default value. I'm going to set it to calibration schedule. Okay. Company. I'm going to set a default value. And I'm just going to call this standards company. Click OK. So once you have this set up, you can click on this icon to preview the data. Uh, 
first step here, it is showing the header information. It will skip it when it imports, but it is showing the header information. Click to the next record. So we're skipping the company. Include our ID, ID, serial new one, serial new one, etc. So it's, everything seems to be lined up properly. Here are the date information. Scroll on down. This is schedule type. It's still going to default to calibration. Company is going to default to the standard company. I can click this and view the next record on down. We can view every record in the file. Okay. Everything looks good. I will simply click finish. There's a couple of confirmation messages that display. Ready to begin the import of data. Yes, I am. It's always a good idea to have a backup of your database. Click yes. Do you, want, uh, do you want to update with new information if the record exists? Yes, I do. And this is just some information about setting up a company. I click yes. It's importing the data. It's completed. I click OK. And now go into the software. Find my standards company. There it is. And here are the four gauges that it brought in. There's a serial description, etc. So let me open this one. So this is new item one. We've got the serial number, type, type example, subtype, etc. Go ahead and view my schedules. Here is my schedule information that I brought in, set up as a calibration schedule, schedule, 12 months, and the other data that I brought in. So that's basically how you would perform an import of data from an Excel spreadsheet.